Side note real quick. No one's going to react to Doc's audio there. We've been yeah, seven you minutes heard, oh. since we showed that audio. Nobody's going to react to Doc's audio. Do you want me to get it oh, Doc, for you? He Look, joined. He joined. We don't have to repeat, it. I, I don't to repeat it. it. I can repeat I, I've it. I've seen the trend now. I've seen the trend for years. What's the trend? The trend is always making excuses. Get Doc, we get it. Taking over a team in the middle of the season is hard. It's hard. We get it. Just like getting traded in the middle of the season is hard for a player. We get it. Mm -hmm. But it's always an excuse. It's always throwing your team under the bus. They lose to Memphis. Oh, it's his players. Memphis was playing G League guys and two-way guys. And then you look at his quotes over the weekend. Now he wants to take credit for the James Harden trade to the Clippers working out. He wants credit for that. There's just no <laughs> – there's never accountability with that guy. Well, there's never say, accountability. Well, let me say a couple of things. Number one, that's a very serious thing to say, and we should take it serious. For I, you oh, because we should take uh, it oh, serious. You can take it serious. He, he no, seemed no, no, no. pretty let serious. Finish. Let yeah. me finish. We yeah. should take it serious because you played for him. So for you to say something like that, it matters. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to say this, because Doc, need, Doc Rivers needs to hear, and I got love for him, but he needs to hear this, okay? Just go out there and coach, because here's the deal. You were playing an advisor's role in Milwaukee, and all of a sudden now you're the head coach. People haven't brought that up, and the more you talk about how difficult this is, the more it brings attention to, wait a minute. Nobody's trying to hear that. You got the job, go win. Go win. Yeah. It's just that simple because it didn't happen in L.A. all of those years with the Clippers. It didn't happen. It didn't happen in Philadelphia. And now, this, I've said this, J.J., the second he got the job, if Doc Rivers doesn't – I'm not talking about this season because he came in there halfway through. But if Doc Rivers, between this year and next season, doesn't win, I think it'll be his last head coaching job in the NBA. I don't think this is yeah. I think this you is can't, last chance. I think this is last chance. Yeah, yeah. I think this is last chance. You year. can't bring up it was probably it wasn't the wisest decision to come in a ten game, you know, with your toughest road stretch of the season. Come on, bro. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. They're really not. You got the job. You wanted the job because you could have stayed, had a nice little cozy job right alongside Dor Doris Burke and Mike Breen. Now J.J. has that job. But you could have stayed put. You wanted this job. And you know what the expectations are.